Hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to do a fun little get ready with me. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, I already washed my face. I cleansed with the toner and I applied moisturizer. So um, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I'm just going to get a little um, mascara wand brush and brush out my eyebrows. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Here we go. Um, and I'm not doing like a crazy look today, so. Okay. <clears throat> so for my eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with a angle brush. And my Anastasia dip brow in ash brown. I like to dip it in the product. And I use the back of the cap to just help me um, work the product in the bristles and get rid of like excess product. So then I'm just going to go in and start shaving my eyebrows. So I'm not going to be doing like an overly filled eyebrow or anything like that. Um, I like to do this to work the product in and just kind of um, soften it so it doesn't look so harsh. And then I go in with my concealer brush. This is a MAC 212 and a concealer. You can use whatever you want. This is like a really inexpensive one from e.l.f. Again, pick up the product, work it in the cap, and I am going to just clean up a little bit around my eyebrows. I'm going to shorten this because it's kind of too long. Kind of like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other side and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I feel okay-ish about these eyebrows. Um, so now for our face, um, I'm going to try the um, e.l.f. poreless I've only used it once but I kind of want to like give it a chance and see if it's actually good so I'm just gonna it's all over it has like a eucalypti smell And for foundation, I am going to go in with the Tarte Amazon Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I have it and I just really never give it any attention. So, put some on the back of my hand. Um, I think I'm going to put it in with my e.l.f.
So I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender. Just to perfect everything. Work it down your neck. And everywhere else. Okay, and for concealer, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with the Elf Photo Focus Concealer Corrector. This is in um, light ivory. Okay, and I'm gonna set under my eyes with the loose powder. You know, my favorite, the Hydra Perfect from L'Oreal. And um, to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to grab this because it's right there. It's the e.l.f. Um, oh my god. It's like really, it's not even dirty, but <laughs> this. I like to go back in because I want to get rid of any like creases so that the powder doesn't settle on them and make them um, more visible. my flat elf powder brush I am going to set the rest of my face um I'm just gonna be very light with it because I don't this um this foundation is it's pretty um thick and I feel like it cakes very easily if you over overdo it so just a very light hand And of course, on oh my nose, I'm gonna go in with uh, any little synthetic brush I find. And I just like, like, really like to get in there. Dust all the excess off. I kind of, um, you see right there. Um, went over my eyebrows, so I'll just go back in with my angle brush. It still has like a little bit of product in it And I just fix like whatever Okay, and for um, Contouring I have this Sephora like um, trio um, It's trio de 
powder sculpting something. <laughs> I don't know what language is that. Anyways, I'm going in with my Sephora. It's the same thing as a MAC 109. I just like to keep one clean and one for um, the contouring. So um, pick up some product and then I go in in here. I start warming up my face and contouring a little bit. blush I'm gonna be trying out the butter blo butter butter blush from physicians formula this is in plum rose my sister was like oh my god you have to try it blah 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 so we're gonna see um it's really light so I don't think it's gonna give me much color payoff it smells like coconuts it smells it smells like bleach Make some up on my brush. It has a lot of um fallout. Actually, it is giving me a little bit of color very subtle but it's pretty very this is probably really good for someone that's very very fair this one's really good so yeah and I'm going to go in with, this is a new one, um, Jeffree Star and uh, Manny MUA Skin Frost in Eclipse. It's huge. It's very pretty. So, um, I'm going to try it with something like this. This is a contour 907 brush. I think I got it at more for Morphe. It's So it's definitely very subtle. I don't know how I feel about the like... About the consistency of these highlighters. They're so um... Like chunky, do you see that? And I just like dusted a little bit right here. You think it would look cute and it's just like really... I don't know if the because you can even see how it like settles in the pan it's kind of like i don't feel like it's like a powder powder like i feel like it's a little bit creamy at the same time so i don't know this is my first um jeffree star skin frost type product that i have I mean, I mean, it's pretty, but I don't feel like I love it. Anyway, so I'm just gonna. 
put some fix plus. And I'm gonna do my lipstick because it's bothering me. Um, I don't know what I wanna do on my lips. It's called Nymphadora and it's from, um, shoot, LA Splash, sorry. <laughs> it's an LA Splash matte lips, liquid lipstick and it's in Nymphadora. I actually really like the formulas of this one. Very comfortable and easy to apply. Okie dokie. Got some lips going. Just going around and cleaning the edges. Okay. Um, going to my eyelids I'll be using my wet and wild one like always I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand I'm gonna use a brush because I have my nails and I don't want to scratch myself Okay, so let focus. Now that my eyelids are primed, I'm gonna go in with my favorite um, what I'm gonna color icon in Team Brulee. You guys know I use this in like literally every video, and I just go in with a little brush. This one's really old. I think I got it at Walgreens when I was like in high school. And this is just my brown bone color. Okay. And I'm going to go in with this matte color. It's called Brown Script. And my Sigma E40 blending brush. And I'm just gonna put that as my crease color. Always so I start on the outer corner and bring it in. Small little circular motions. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I mean, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like really light. Like barely touching. And this color has really good color payoff, so I'm gonna go in with a clean um, oval blending brush. And then I just like to blend out the edges so it's like super blended and very soft. Okay, so now that I have this color blended out, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with, um, my matte color in Pure Flash. These are the Electric Cool eyeshadows. And, um, I'm just gonna go in with my finger and, um, these feel really cool. And then I'm just gonna put it on my eyelid. Okay. And now for my under eye area, I'm going to go in with a pencil brush. And this is
This is Bitten from Makeup Geek. Can't get it to focus. It's like a red brownie color. And I'm just gonna take my pencil brush and put that under my waterline. So for my waterline, I'm gonna be taking um, Scandalize Rimmel in um, Nude. So I'm gonna curl my eyelashes um, with Spice and Mascara and I might do some falsies. Something very light, not too heavy. And I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I did end up applying some falsies um these are like really cheap Asian like um eyelashes in a box kind um they look okay this one's kind of poking me a little bit right here but I'm not really going out anywhere or anything so it's fine um so yeah it's a very simple easy look you can basically wear with anything or go anywhere with it um so yeah i hope you guys like it and um i will be back to making videos um i um would love to hear from you guys if you have any questions comments or suggestions please let me know um and like as always please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye <laughs>